So we're here with uh, JB, Jeremy Borash in yes. London. Um, big darts fan, Jeremy. Uh, how did you first get into the sport of professional darts? Um, I owe it all actually to my better half, my partner, my girlfriend. She, uh, how many attractive, I'm gonna say she's very attractive, how many attractive females do you know are avid fans of Adrian Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> No offense, Adrian. Uh, yeah, no, she got me into it, and I, um, I'll tell you what, I was actually, the first time I saw darts even, because had no exposure to it in America, I was actually stuck in a hotel right across the river here over Christmas, uh, and I was all sad because I was stuck by myself. Uh, I went to St. Paul's Cathedral, uh, and I remember coming back that night and turning on the darts, uh, and I remember watching it, and okay, this is kind of interesting, never seen this on TV, and then I heard the announcer uh, go, 180! And I said, that is the strangest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> and I was hooked, because I like strange announcing for some reason, and that's actually what got me hooked. Thought about it for a while, and that was kind of interesting. And not till I came back uh, about five years ago, and I came back and uh, started coming here a lot, that mm. I just got hooked. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't watch, I don't watch football. I don't watch ice hockey in America. I don't watch very much MMA. I don't watch boxing. I watch darts every Thursday night, so that's what I do. I, I'm a subscriber, mm. <laughs> so I watch it on the uh, on the feed, put it up on my TV, and Thursday afternoons, uh, which is when it is in America. Uh, yeah, I've always got that feed on. I'm, uh, I'm watching the Premier League every week. No, definitely, and of course, um, with, with being darts, um, you've been to quite a few live events. You were at the O2 last night for the Premier League. Yeah, I mean, I what's it like night. going in person? And there's a lot of similarities between darts and wrestling with the walk-on music, the signs that the fans hold up and write on. Um, yes, I actually think Barry Hearn should send me a residual check for all the things <laughs> he's lifted from my sport, uh, which is the entrances. Uh, I'll tell you what, what makes, and the similarities are, Entrances, larger than life personalities, uh, whereas darts takes an average normal looking guy and makes him a superstar. Who doesn't want that? Very relatable. Uh, the FaceTime the players get on camera, that's why you know I, I could recognize Adrian Lewis before I could recognize any footballer. Uh, the atmosphere, and that's 100% atmosphere. Uh, we in wrestling have a very similar atmosphere. It's wild, it's crazy, it's fun. Uh, it's, you know, a couple of brujas and you're having a good time. That's what it's about. You gotta go and have a good time. That's what drew me to the darts. Uh, and yeah, the first time I walked into Alley Pally three years ago uh, for, the, for the finals over Christmas, I said, I'm, I'm coming here every year. And I've been every year since, make the trip over. And uh, it's become a new tradition for me. No, definitely. And uh, you mentioned Adrian Lewis. Who are some of your other favorite players? Um, you know, I've gotten to know a few. Um, I've gotten to know some some of the announcers behind mm -hmm. the scenes. Uh, George Noble, uh, I talk to a lot uh, and just kind of, you know, find out from his perspective how things are. Uh, Paul Nicholson, I talk mm -hmm. to a lot. But my favorites, who I enjoy watching, uh, you know, uh, Phil. I like to watch Phil, but I go back and forth on Phil mm. because some days I think, oh, he's the greatest, and then some days I want to see somebody beat him, yeah. uh, which is why he's so great. I uh, <laughs> love Adrian Lewis. Uh, you know, Jack Potts, one of my favorites, uh, always has been. <sighs> my girlfriend's in love with MVG. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, obviously she's got great taste in men, obviously, <laughs> him and me. You can see the similarities. Uh, yeah, so it, it's, you know, and everybody that comes on snake biting, you know, I mean, guys that just kind of come that, that are new on the scene, too, yeah. that I, I'm seeing for the first time. Mm -hmm. Maybe many people have seen them before, but uh, that's exciting, too. So just the personalities of the music, I get, I literally get goosebumps sometimes when I watch it, and that's, you know, I'm a dork, mm -hmm. and that's for somebody that promotes wrestling and, and seeing the success of an entrance yeah. and uh, the success of, you know, an entire crowd coming up and singing a name or, mm -hmm. or hijacking another song and putting, you know, MVG's name on there to, you know, to a great song. That's that's the kind of thing that's very cool, and we don't have that in America because American fans are lame. <laughs> and um, of course, TNA over in the UK is on Challenge, mm -hmm. famous darts uh, show sure. from the UK. Uh, yeah, Bullseye is also on bully. Challenge. I mean, I, uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, if I lived here, I'd probably be up in the Midlands and I'd probably have a couple speedboats right there ready to go nowhere for my winnings on jackpot, uh, job, jackpot, <laughs> from my winnings on bullseye. Uh, yeah, that's a great show. I like watching uh, the old, there's something about it. And like another that. JB presents it as well. Bowen. Mm -hmm. Jim Bowen's a god. I mean, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've actually reached out to try and 
Challenge has kind of helped out because I know I'm such a big fan. Mm. Uh, but uh, you know, haven't haven't had a chance to meet him, but. What a uh, what a great show to watch in a time capsule. Mm. You know that is truly you know in, in 30 years, 40 years we look back on and like wow Bullseye was pretty funny. You yeah. know <laughs> funny watch now especially with the prizes mm. uh, and, and the hairstyles and yeah. Uh, yeah what a fun show to watch okay. still. And have, do, have you spoken to Challenger? If not, this uh, could be a good idea. Uh, bringing back balls, I were you as a presenter for like a one-off special? Yeah, I've pitched it every day. Yeah. I've pitched it all the time. <laughs> I've pitched it a hundred times. Yeah. No, uh, actually, I've met the Bullseye people. Mm. Uh, great people, great wrestling fans. Uh, you never know down the road. Mm. You know, I mean, let's not uh, let's not also discount the. Uh, what was a celebrity dart show? I watched a little bit of Showbiz. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's it's you know to me it's it's so much about the atmosphere mm. and I I hope everyone appreciates all the darts fans out there appreciate what you have no, definitely. in such a unique uh, atmosphere and sporting event no, definitely. because nobody else in the world has it. Uh, and back in the TNA locker room, I remember the Aces and Eights angle. Um, Bully Ray and uh, the gang, they would uh, throw darts uh, to pick their next oh, victim. Oh, yeah, that's and how they, they picked their next victim yeah, is they'd, um, they'd put them up. You know, my face has been on plenty of dart boards, yeah. I'm sure, from my girlfriends. <laughs> uh, but that's, you know, that's actually been one of the funny things to do because, uh, you know, it is such a an exclusive thing in the UK. Mm. I will put up, uh, a lot of times we'll have TV shows on Thursday, so I'll be in the back and I'll I'll pull up my laptop and I'll mm. fit my mobile broadband and I'll be watching the PDC feed. And I'll have it up there and by the 10 minutes, there will be a locker room mm. of wrestlers. I remember showing Mick Foley the first time, just glued to the TV <laughs> during the entrances and they're like, is this for real? Are these people, look at, is this, is this guy with the big beer belly, is he like, the, the subject of thousands of fans' adoration for, for throwing darts. They don't believe it, then they're hooked on it, and then they're like, well, I gotta go see this. So I have single-handedly promoted darts in America better than anybody. And I want some appreciation, and I want some, uh, Hearn, call me, let's do something. Oh, that's great, Jeremy, thank you so much. Thanks. Hey everybody, it's JB, Jeremy Borash from TNA Impact Wrestling on Challenge, and we are keeping you on the sharp end of world darts. Subscribe right now to the YouTube channel. This is Tungsten Tales.